Hi, my name is Kathleen McNally Durkin and I'm the new Executive Director of the ARC Baltimore. I've always been blessed to have a career and a passion that came together and I started in this field working with people with developmental and intellectual disabilities over 36 years ago. I started with a group of young men as a volunteer in Pennsylvania and then became a direct support staff over many years in many different settings before moving to Maryland in 1987. Since then, I've worked in a number of different agencies, coming to the ARC about 16 years ago and starting as Director of Quality Assurance. In that role, I was lucky enough to really get my hands into everything that the ARC did, and it's such a wide and broad expanse of people's lives that we touch. So as the Director of Quality Assurance, I was able to really get to know and understand all the different facets of what we do here at the ARC. I'm so proud and honored to be the next executive director of such a wonderful organization. I'm a big believer in you can't know where you're going unless you understand where you've been. And I truly treasure the history of this organization and the journey that individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities have gone through. We have to remember and we have to learn and we have to move forward. And I am so excited to move this organization into the future. In valuing our history and envisioning our future, our core values will remain the same. The commitment to the individuals first. But times are changing in challenging and exciting ways. So what we'll look like and how we live out those values will absolutely change. We're part of a civil rights movement with threats to Medicaid and other resources, with changing expectations from various stakeholders, and serving a generation that has never set foot in an institution. Our future includes meaningful employment, sibling engagement, reciprocity with the community, and so much more. The future is going to be challenging, but it is bright. People with developmental disabilities are a natural and valued part of the fabric of every neighborhood. In my first few months as executive director, I intend to spend as much time as possible with the people that we support and their staff. I've challenged myself to visit as many homes, job sites, and day centers as possible to start by listening. In the fall, we'll host a number of town halls, inviting family members, community members, and other stakeholders to begin the dialogue about our future. Thank you for welcoming me. I look forward to this journey.